obviously need an outside eye to evaluate the situation. It's lucky for you, Applejack is too stubborn to relax. Uh, I'm sorry, Rarity. We'll just have to do this another day. Twilight and Spike should be done feeding the pigs by now. Twilight is a very capable pony. I'm sure she can figure out what to do next. Look, I know Twilight's a princess and an alicorn, but she isn't a farmer. I've been doing farm work my whole life, and I'm not sure it's something you can just figure out. Of course. Ooh, why don't we pop back so you can explain to Twilight what to do next, and then we'll come back here and pick up where we left off? Well, I suppose I could try, assuming everything went well so far. Oh, Applejack, honestly, how could it not? <laughs> Wouldn't it be easier to just fly? I told you, Spike. We're following Applejack's list to the letter, and Applejack doesn't fly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rarity, but I think I'm gonna have to finish these chores myself. <laughs> Twilight, darling! How in the world did you end up there? Spike and I were just trying to follow Applejack's list as closely as possible. Hmm, maybe not the best plan. I'm sorry, Applejack, but we never even got started feeding the pigs. That's all right, Twilight. I know you did your best. I guess a list can't really capture all the ways I have of doing things. At least you two got to spend some time at the spa together. Yeah, that must have been super relaxing. Well, if watching Applejack fix plumbing counts as relaxing, then yes. What about your hour of spa perfection? As it turns out, the Ponyville Day Spa had a few problems with their steam room, and some pony refused to relax until she had fixed them. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't let those spa ponies go another minute putting up with problems they didn't even know they had. Somehow, they just got used to a huge bottleneck of ponies standing around waiting. But I took one good look at that spa jam, and I knew I had to do something. Sometimes the simplest things can just derail a whole operation. <laughs> Whether it's a leaky pipe or doing too much laundry, you can't just stick to the same old way of doing things and expect them to get better. <laughs> I mean, thinking you can is just plum ridiculous, right? <laughs> it's funny when you realize the extra work they were doing was actually making things worse. I mean, I guess it's possible to get stuck in a routine where you're doing all this extra stuff and not realize it, but I can't for the life of me think I have. Why are y'all staring at me like that? Um, are you certain everything you just did is entirely necessary to feed the pigs? What? Of course. Why would I be doing it if it weren't? See, this gate here used to squeak so loud the pigs would run to the other side of the pen and never come out. So I open and close it to let them know it's safe. But it doesn't squeak anymore. Of course not. I fixed that ages ago. Then, I realized putting a little fright into them got them all hustling out of the pen. They don't look scared to me. Well, no, they got used to it. Which is why I started doing the chicken dance. To show them that if they didn't get to eating their food, the chicken would. Of course, being a chicken, I couldn't very well open the gate. Getting the food bucket to spill into the trough was just a happy accident, because one time I left it there by mistake. Uh, Applejack, it seems like everything you're doing is to fix things that aren't really problems anymore. Well, I'll be. Hmm, maybe it isn't so hard to get stuck doing extra work after all. Huh, I wonder if I've been doing that around here with anything else. Well, there's only one way to find out.
<sighs> Thanks, y'all. I guess I just got so used to doing everything a certain way, I didn't realize there were any problems. Having a friend look at what you're doing with an outside eye can really help. Mm hmm And I suppose if it weren't for our unsuccessful time at the spa, none of us would have realized it. Well, now that your chores are streamlined, what are you gonna do with all the extra time? I think I have a few ideas. <sighs> think you can come up with enough things for us to do now that we have more time to relax? Oh, please. I could plan a week's worth of treatments. <laughs> well, let's just start with the rest of the day for now. After all the work we just did on the farm, I am ready for some serious relaxation. <sighs> Thanks for letting me know there was an opening. I don't know if I could make it without my pampered muscle massage. Don't worry about it. Shall I put you down for another one tomorrow? Oh, absolutely. Sometimes a girl just has to pamper herself. Am I right? You certainly are. <gasps> uh, oh, oh, hey, I was just, uh, uh, getting a sports pampering. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Rainbow Dash. We were just heading in for some pampering ourselves. You could always join us. That is, if you don't mind suffering through one or two frou-frou treatments. Uh, I suppose I could take it. You know, for you ponies. <laughs> 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 <laughs>